Hey, how's it going YouTube? I'm back in a video and today I'm going to be talking about why the Houston Rockets need to trade for Jimmy Butler. Now, obviously there have been a lot of reports about Jimmy Butler probably getting traded as he has requested a trade as like it's one of the biggest stories right now before the season actually starts. And obviously they want to get him traded before the actual real regular season starts and before the preseason ends. So, I mean, I'm be getting into why I think the Houston Rockets have to trade for Jimmy Butler and I'm be getting into the trade package, reasons why they would do it, why the Wolves would want to do it, and then why the Rockets would have to do this. So yeah, without further ado, without rambling on too much, just get right into this video. Alright, so the first thing we'll be getting into is the trade package itself. Now, what I think the trade package would look like would be the Wolves would be getting Eric Gordon and Marquise Chris, while the Rockets would receive Jimmy Butler. Now, a lot of y'all might be like, well, that's not that fair of a trade, but when you look at what the Wolves are wanting and what the Rockets are obviously wanting, which is Jimmy Butler, it kind of does make sense. As I mean, the Wolves would want to do this trade because, like, they would be getting two things that are on their checklist. They would be checking off two boxes that they want in this trade. As I mean, look, they would be getting a wing guy that they want in Eric Gordon, and since he has joined the Rockets, Rockets. He has been a great ring player as I mean he was able to average 17.1 points per game, 2.2 assists per game, 2.5 rebounds per game, and 35% from the three while shooting 54% from the field in general. He's a very good wing player, very good shooter, very good scorer and that a wing guy is a big thing that they were looking for and that would be a huge box checked off for them if they were able to get Eric Gordon. But then also Marquis Chris, they were looking for a young prospect. Marquis Chris is only 21 years old and yes he had a few lackluster years in the um, Phoenix Suns there but I mean I don't think he was really ever given a chance they had bad coaching different coaches didn't they really have much of a team to support him but now that he would be having a better team in Minnesota have better coaching I do think Tom Thibodeau is a better coach than what the Phoenix Suns currently have I do I do would like to see how that would work out and I mean him being the eighth overall pick obviously he had a lot of potential coming out of the draft so maybe he'll be able to live up to his full potential once he gets good coaching and a good supporting cast around him and gets a real real chance to be good in this league but now I'm beginning to why the Rockets have to have to do this now i mean th my first reason is going to be that they had lost a lot of defense between trevor reza and the Mute. i mean those were two of their best defenders pretty much on the team besides clint capella and i mean that was a big reason why they were so good because they were elite on both sides of ball offense and defense and now they're not as elite on defense as they were at all because trevor reza is one of the best veteran three and d players on the team and the Mute is just a good defender off their bench but if you're able to add a top five defender like jimmy butler then your defense is obviously going to be just as elite because now you're going to have Chris Paul, one of the best defensive point guards in the league, Jimmy Butler, a top five defender in the league, with Clint Capella, one of the best rim protecting centers in the league. He had a breakout year last year. And I mean, that's just one of the best big three defensively that there's going to be in the league. I mean, you're going to be very elite, but Jimmy Butler can also bring you offense. So that's also going to be very, very nice. Probably more offense than Trevor Reza can actually bring you. So I mean, your overall team is obviously going to be improving and your star power will be going up by a lot as well. But now my second reason is going to be that they will have one of the best starting fives in the NBA. I mean, look at this. They have a top 10 point guard in the league, maybe top five point guard in Chris Paul. He can score, play defense, is just a very good veteran leader, get his teammates involved very, very well. And then last year's MVP, one of the best scorers in the game, James Harden. I mean, that are hate. So now you have a backcourt of Chris Paul, a great defender, top 10 point guard, and debatably the best player in the league last year, James Harden. I mean, he won the MVP. He was the most valuable player on in the team last year. It's a very, very nice thing to have at your shooting guard. And then one of the best defensive players in Jimmy Butler, top 15 player in the league, top five defensive player in the league, a superstar in my opinion, can completely change a team around. And then PJ Tucker at your four. Now he's not a good, like a beast of a player, but he was gonna get the job done. He's gonna get, he's gonna get you the boards. He's gonna get on the floor. He's gonna hustle. He's gonna be that veteran that you have to have on the team and he can also spread the court from that four position very well and then Clint Capella he had a breakout year last year becoming a very very good rim protector a very elite like Hassan Whiteside did that one year where he just like had 3.2 blocks per game he was averaging Capella had kind of a year kind of like that and if he can repeat that I'm sure that they're going to have one of the best starting vibes in the NBA right now but a huge reason is because they're going to match up with the Golden State Warriors so well I mean obviously it's going to be very hard to match up with the Golden State Warriors as they have players like Kevin Durant Grant, DeMarcus Cousins, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, all of them are pretty much unguardable. But I mean, when you have a team that's all just as unguardable and has 
pretty good on defense, you match up very well. As I mean, just look at the matchups. Matchups: Chris Paul versus Steph Curry. Chris Paul can guard Curry. He's a very good veteran. I mean, yes, Steph Curry kind of has Chris Paul's number, but Chris Paul is also a very good point guard, and it's always a very good matchup to see how that goes. And debatably, last year, Chris Paul won his matchup before he got injured. And then James Harden on Klay Thompson. Now, Klay Thompson's a great player, but James Harden is a lot better of a player. I mean, he won the MVP last year. Klay Thompson would not be winning MVPs, and James Harden won that matchup last year as well. So, bang, two matchups that they won last year. And then, yes, you have Durant on Jimmy Butler, and obviously Durant's a better player than Jimmy Butler. But Jimmy Butler, being one of the best defensive players in the league, he gives you some of the best chance to slow down Durant's offense, which I do think he can. Jimmy Butler can definitely stay in front of Durant, slow him down, and kind of get him out of his game. Now, obviously, no one's going to lock up Kevin Durant. Not even Kawhi Leonard can lock up Kevin Durant. But Jimmy Butler, being one of the best defensive players, is going to definitely be able to guard Durant better than almost anyone else in the NBA, which is going to be a very, very nice thing to have. Then P.J. Tucker on a Draymond Green. Draymond Green is the better player, but they both play very similar. They both hustle. They both drive rebounds. They both do the dirty work, and they're kind of very underrated on their team just because they don't score a lot and everything. And P.J. Tucker might have a better three, but Draymond Green is just a better overall player in my opinion. So, I mean, I'm going to have to give that matchup on that, but it's kind of a close matchup when you look at it. Then Clint Capella on Dr DeMarcus Cousins. Now, obviously, DeMarcus Cousins is better, but there is going to be kind of a low scoring matchup because Cousins isn't very athletic, isn't very fast, and especially now coming off an Achilles injury, he's probably going to be even slower. So, yeah, he can shoot from the three, but when he, that's all he's going to do. He's not going to be burning by Capella, and he can't really score in the paint much against Capella because of how good he's brim protecting, and then Capella's just not that good of an offensive player. So, I mean... When you look at it, it's kind of like that's going to be a good matchup as well. They match up very well with the Warriors, and it is going to be a very interesting thing to watch. I'm very, very intrigued to know who's going to win that matchup. It's going to be a very nice Game 7 if they would be able to add Jimmy Butler. But unfortunately, guys, in the first videos, comment below. Do you agree with me? Do you think that they need to trade for Jimmy Butler? Where do you think Jimmy Butler is going to get traded to? Do you want me to make any more like possible rumor videos about Jimmy Butler and where he's going to go? One about Miami Heat, maybe, like, yeah, probably my next video is going to be another one like this or a super team video. Just because I'm trying to get all those done before the regular season starts. So yeah, and I have to say this after every video. Thank y'all so, so much. Y'all been showing so much support on the channel. We're at 868 subscribers. Literally almost at 870. Only 30 away from 900. Right now we're 32 away from 900. And that is so amazing to me. I cannot thank y'all enough. And then obviously I have to give all praise to God. God's the reason I'm here. God's the reason we're all here. I live in my, I'm living the reason God put me on the earth. This is the reason I hate to spread his word, entertain people, like do all of this. I'm just going. He's keeping me motivated and I cannot thank him enough. I'm literally making this at 2 a.m. So yeah. I've slurred over in my words. That is why. But yeah, I just cannot thank y'all for all the support y'all been showing. And if you did like, maybe point like button and subscribe button. And I hope you have a blessed day because I had a blessed day. So you need to have a blessed day. See you tomorrow's video. Goodbye. Boo. Blah, 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 blah.